Today we're taking a look at the Spiderball Gel Blaster. This is one of the few gel blasters that's available here in the States, in stores specifically. I picked this up at Walmart. Uh, I've seen it in several Walmarts available. It's not available in all Walmarts, but you can also buy it, I think, in Walmart online. And it's made by Daisy, so it's distributed by a pretty well-known company. Let's take a look at the back of the box here. What does it come with? Well, we'll see what's inside. Here it shows you some safety glasses, charger, some gels, a container, a target. It says it's powered by a 7.4 volt, 1800 milliamp hour battery. That's a lot more capacity than the Gel Blaster Surge battery. That says it delivers up to 5,000 shots, so you could expect it to last longer. It also has a select fire switch, so you have three positions. You have electronic safety, X, semi-auto, which is single shot per trigger pull, and full auto. This says this has three. It would be cool if it had like the three shots too. All right, let's take a look at what's inside. Stop! Please do not return this product to the store. It's a pretty common thing. They want you to contact them if there's any issues because they can usually get it resolved. So I'm going to take a quick look at these instructions. I'm not going to necessarily bore you with them, but I just want to make sure that I'm doing everything right from the start. First thing we need to do, of course, is hydrate our gels. You've got changing the battery, attaching the stock, attaching a sling clip, how to operate, refilling, Here's the blaster itself. Wow, it's quite big, substantial. You can feel the weight. It's definitely not as light as a Surge. And the quality feels good of this plastic. Here's our battery. So it uses two 18650 batteries. That's a pretty standard type of battery pack. Mine is peeling off the end a little bit. You don't want to make sure you don't short that. Um, this is pretty cool. Since I have individual 18650 cells, I would actually be interested in putting a battery holder in here that you just pop in new 18650 cells in there so you don't have to have this special battery pack. Looks like there's plenty of space to do that in here. This is a nice big compartment. It has some actual sights along the top. You can flip it to a different style sight. Stock release button on the back. Different fire modes. The first thing you should do when you get this is to charge the battery. I'm going to go ahead and connect it just to do a little test, a little dry fire test. The select fire is on safety, nothing's happening. But on single, that's one. And then automatic. This plastic stock is Pretty substantial, it has a weight in the back. I can see the shadow of it, I can feel the weight. So this slides down on the back here. And that's like the size of a normal rifle. That's a lot bigger than I expected. I expected it to be more like a toy. It's actually rifle sized. Here's the magazine. This magazine is supposed to hold 400 gels. Here's the opening to load the gels. It does come with a kind of speed loader bottle. And here's the cap for the bottle. Looks like you have to put this down over here first and then put the cap on. Unscrew or pop this off. It's kind of, uh, kind of tough, pop off. I'm gonna go ahead and take out all the parts first and lay them out on the table. This is a reusable target, so you, when you shoot it, it shows red where you shoot and it dries white to shoot it again. Feels like a cardboard though. I don't know how reusable it is, how long it will last. Here's everything laid out that the splatter ball comes with in the box. So we got our blaster here, the 400 round magazine. There's a normal stock. There's also this sling attachment but there's no sling included with it. However, I don't know that I'll use it that much. It comes with 5,000 rounds of ammo, so you got 10 packs of 500. There's a little bottle to hold ammo to refill. You got your safety glasses. These safety glasses look like better quality than the safety glasses that come with the El Cheapo blasters normally. 
These are like much more substantial daisy level quality glasses, pretty thick lens. Got some adjustments on there. So let's put this thing together and see how it goes. Put our stock on and it's pretty substantial. It feels like a normal size rifle. With the clip, it's already bright orange and gray, but honestly, when I take it apart to show what's inside, I'm going to go ahead and spray paint the outer housing like bright green or something to make it even brighter and stand out so that it can never get confused with a real rifle because unfortunately it's got the same shape and design as a real rifle. This magazine is also an almost exact copy of the Wells G36 magazine. The main difference is the magazine is quite a bit wider so they made it bigger to be able to hold more gels. The G36 magazine is about the same width as the top here, so it's narrower. This all looks the same at the top, even the fill flap and everything. It looks like almost an identical magazine, just a little bit extra width. This bottle is actually a very convenient size because it's sized to fit one package of these 500 counts of ammo. So it says add one 500 pack, or one half teaspoon of dehydrated ammo, fill the bottle with water all the way up to the neck, and then let it soak for four hours. So that's a convenient size. Although, let me tell you, 500 rounds is not gonna last long unless you're shooting a single shot. This magazine claims to hold 400 rounds. This is supposed to be 500 rounds. Let's see how this works. I try to fill it up. Kind of hard to get these out of this feeder thing. I thought, I thought squeezing, that squeezing would make them come out, but doesn't. Just shake them, which is mildly annoying. Wonder why the gels don't feed very well. Let's fill up now and there's still some left in here. I don't know if that's a hundred. That was a real pain to fill with this bottle. They don't want to come out of that hole. That's all we've got inside the box. Now check out my next video where I take it apart and show you what's inside of this blaster.